Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So, uh, in this episode of Will It Burn in a Rocket Stove, I have an idea, and it's just nuts. Well, peanuts, actually legumes. But uh, we're going to try to burn some peanuts in a rocket stove and see if they will burn in the rocket stove. So these are left over from my little adventure of trying to grow peanuts. And uh, they're, they're probably no good at all. They weren't very good to eat in the beginning because they're raw. And uh, now that they've sat, they've sat in the garage for quite a while, they probably won't even grow. So the rest of these I'll probably feed to the birds. So uh, let's get some put in a rocket stove and see if they'll burn in a rocket stove and see if it's actually a valuable source of fuel for the rocket stove. We'll be, uh, we'll be trying to boil some water and see how long it takes to boil that water if they'll burn at all. So let's get started and see what happens. I'm pretty excited about this because it's just nuts. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fill our fuel chamber with our peanuts. As you can see, winter weather is in full swing here. So that's pretty cold out. So we'll get us a good amount of nuts in there. Oh yeah, that looks like a nice amount of peanuts in there. Set this to the side. Got one of my fire starters. i open up our door here a little bit. Pull out our back. Oh, we got some nuts that fell through the grating. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Go ahead and can you see this on camera? Better move the camera back here so we can get. Yeah, there we go. Oh. The fire starter's lit. Go ahead and we will shove it in there. We'll shut our fire chamber door and we'll see what happens. I've never tried to burn peanuts, so kind of interested to see what happens here. Looks like there's a fire starting in there. Got a lot of smoke. That's still the fire starter burning. So I don't know how the weather is going to affect our prior test. The only test that went went well so far was the corn cobs. If I remember right, the corn cobs were just under four minutes that started boiling water. The coal did not work at all because I had anthracite coal, and from what I've gathered in the comments, that is very hard coal to get burning. I need uh, bitmus coal, or is it the opposite way around? I don't know. One of the, one of the, some way around, I had the wrong coal. Let's put it that way. I have too hard of a cold. So we're going to let this uh, sit here for a while and see if we get some flame inside. All right, so we did have some flame coming up the stack. I didn't get the camera on on time. It only took about oh, five minutes to get some flame. Getting some heat up there. I am noticing a lot of smoke from the peanuts. They're very smoky. Now, peanuts contain oil because you get peanut oil, you get peanut butter. So I thought, well, they might be a really good uh, fuel. But, ooh, they're smoky. Very, very smoky. I'm impressed with the amount of smoke from peanuts. This is interesting, if nothing else. I never imagined a peanut would smoke that much. I believe they're burning now. <coughs> wow. <coughs> the mate and the neighbors are probably wondering what is going on over here. Well, just me out here roasting my nuts, that's all. Yeah. let's sit for a little bit 
That's impressive, though. Look at that. It's following me. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. So I'm going to let it go for a little bit. See if that smoke will go away and we can get some actual heat out of it. Oh, I missed it. I wish I would have had the camera on. Hang on. Oh. I wish I would have had the camera on because it just went, it went from smoke and it went woof and it just started this nice flame out the top. That was cool. It's almost worth shutting it all off and doing it again. But as you can see, that's pretty impressive for peanuts, in the shell peanuts. All right, I would say we got some flame, so I'm going to go uh, get my pot of 16 ounces of water and throw on there and we'll time it and see how long it takes it to boil. Okay, I got my pot of water here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set a timer on my phone here. Uh, if I can remember how to do it. Oh, there it is. Or I mean stopwatch, sorry. All right, it's all zeros. I'm gonna start it. Remember, we can't watch this because a watched pot never boils. So we're 30 seconds in. I'm really impressed with the flame from peanuts. Very impressed. I never imagined. Now this is a Chasson Smoke uh, DIY rocket stove kit that I purchased from them and I built for those of you who have not been following the rocket stove. I put this all together, they cut it all out and I send it to you, it's completely disassembled. If you want to go back and watch that video, you're more than welcome to. Alright, our water's steaming. That's only 16 ounces of water. You could probably make a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese in it, I think, is what they call for, for 16 ounces. I don't remember. I usually just fill the pot half full. <coughs> nope, Madison, don't mind that I am using her pot again. No. This is actually a pot that I use on my wood stove. Old timer always told me if you got a wood stove to uh, pull the water in a pot in your shop, must moisten the air, I guess. I, I don't know. I wonder if we can slow that fire down just a little bit. So I'm, I'm noticing that uh, peanuts have a lot of soot. Must be the oil in them. Because as you can see, it's really collecting. It's really black. Interesting. We're two minutes and 18 seconds. Should have probably sat that on there, so deduct a couple seconds. Dirty. <coughs> Peanuts are not the cleanest thing to burn. Water's getting hot. Not boiling yet, but it's getting hot. Now, kids, don't try this at home. I am a trained professional with fire and pyrotechnics. Pyrotechnics. 
no, not actually. I just like to play with fire. But I've been doing it long enough, I consider myself a professional. Just don't have a fire in the house, whatever you do, not on a coffee table or something like that. I can't believe how smoky they are. And I know there wasn't any coal or anything left in there, I cleaned it all out. Should probably puck them down a little bit. It's not boiling yet. We're getting close though. Three minutes, 42 seconds. Ah, it's starting to. It's getting there. Four minutes. Our water is boiling, but it's not a rolling boil. So apparently peanuts are not as hot as the corn cobs were. Apparently not. Or, or it is our temperature that we're having right now because it is, uh, it's about, <coughs> oh, 31 degrees right now. And the last time we did this with the corn cobs, it was in the 40s. So I don't know if that's a big issue. But we have a rolling boil. Or we did. Oh, man. There we go. We're boiling. We're boiling water at five minutes. So there you have it. You can burn peanuts. In the chass on smoke rocket stove. I am impressed. So yeah, we'll call it five minutes. And if it was warmer out, I think it would have been a little quicker than that. But this video does tell us that we could use peanuts as a fuel source for a rocket stove. I just wish I would have got that on video when it started burning. That was really cool. And really, it didn't take that many of them to do what we uh, did. I mean, it's still, it's still up to here. Uh-oh, I put the fire out. Whoops. Oh, maybe it'll do it again now. Let's keep watching. I bet it'll do it again. Wait for it. Oh, come on. I don't know if it's gonna do it. That was so cool though. See if we can make it do it. There it went. <laughs> All right, so I did get it to do it. Now it's burning again good. Just for fun, let's go give it a little more air.
right, that's enough playing with fire. I'm going to go back in the shop and work. It's warmed up in there. I got some things I'm going to do. So thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And hopefully you enjoyed this fun little episode of Dirt Grain Steel. And uh, come up with something in the uh, comments below that you want me to try to burn in the rocket stove. And I will give it a try. So thanks for watching. Have a good evening.